Hello YouTube, my name is APC, and today I'm teaching you how to make a gradient health bar. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial, but this is going to look really cool. What basically it'll have is health bar style green, but it'll, it'll um, change from green to red or something, and at a very smooth instance. So in order to do that, let's go to sprites, create a sprite called SGRHP, click edit sprite, and let's reset the canvas, make it height 16. And the width will be uh, 128. Now let's cr create two sub images. The sub first sub images, sub image. Let's go to image gradient fill. And for color number one, make it 2f2.5 on green. And for color number two, make it 128 on green. Make sure the gradients on that. And there you have this, this is the way I like to do it. You can use different gradients you want, but I just have light on the outside, dark on the inside. So on the second one, we're gonna basically do the same thing, only we're going to do it with a reddish color. So add two five in green, we'll do two five in red. And over here, rather than 128 on green, we'll do 120 on red. So this will be our HP sprite. Now we're not going to really have much need for it, but let, let's just make a player sprite check it. So let's call it SPR player. Click edit sprite, add something to the percentage. And I'm just going to fill it in black. Now I'm going to create object. And OBJ player. This is going to be our only object. Get the sprite. And then in the creation event. We're going to create a variable, we're going to call it HP, HP equals 100. So this will simply be the health of the player, it's going to start at 100. And then whenever we want, whenever we click, we want lose health. No doubt in your game you're going to do something else, but um, for this one we're going to do click. And make sure it's global click, otherwise you, you have to click directly on it for it to work. Alright, and here we'll put an HP mi minus equals 1. So. If we hold the button, it should lose health, and we'll see, we'll see the health bar change colors. Let's go in the draw event. First, draw the sprite of the player, um, so that it'll be shown. So draw a sprite, sprite, index, image, index, x, y. And now let's draw the back level of HP. So what we're going to have is we're going to have a layer of red, and on top of that we're going to have a layer of green. The layer of green is going to change transparency based on our health. So let's first draw the layer of red. So you draw sprite SPR HP 1, and let's just put it 100, 100 in the screen. You might have to follow the player in your game or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it static. So now for the last one, we're going to draw the, the Green um, foreground layer. They get draw sprite and ext. That's very important. This way we can have more control over it. So first off, spr hp. Cause that's where we want. We want some move to be zero this time. Same coordinates as the background. X scale is just one. Y scale is just one. Rotation is zero. Color. You don't want the color to change. So just put that image blend because the color of the player isn't changing either, so it should work. And image alpha. Now this is the important part. But remember, um, the maximum health is 100, so put that down. And we'll do HP divided by 100. What this means is, so when HP is at 100, and we divide it by 100, we get 1. And 1 in alpha means that it's fully opaque, so it'll be completely green. If it's, if, if the HP is 50, then this will come out as 0.5, so it'll be semi-transparent, and if it's zero, it'll be completely gone, and you'll really see the right background. And then all of them in between. So that's really all there is. So now let's prune, add the player, that's it out. So we have the player, we have the gradient, and if I press down, you can see it starts changing colors and becomes closer and closer to red. All right. That is the end of the tutorial. This is probably record short, 
So hopefully you guys will be able to get the knowledge quicker and have to listen to less of me talking. And uh, so I can mark it off the list. So thank you all for watching. And God bless you.